Hello, Wealthy family, and welcome to today's video. Thank you for coming and sharing some time with me. Welcome, new subscribers. We are growing. I absolutely love it. Be sure to say hi in the comments below. I look forward to connecting with each and every one of you. Each and every one of you, sorry. <laughs> so today, I wanted to talk about my life lessons things that I garner, things that help me become a better version of myself from being a teenage mom. So I had my first son a few days after my 17th birthday, and I had my daughter um, when I was 19. So those two bundles of joy, <laughs> um, just happened in my life, not not planned, of course, but definitely not unwanted. And I realized without even knowing that I was looking for fulfillment of a purpose. What is it that I was here for? What is it that I can do to make the world a better place? See, that's what I've learned and come to appreciate now as I'm older. But having my children young, while I, you know, quote unquote, should still be being raised or trained, right? Now I have this whole other person that I have to raise and train and help be a beautiful human being. It allowed me to see that I have a purpose. I have a way to fulfill a desire. And I'm not saying that I use my children as crutches or anything of that nature, far from it. I just allowed them to be them because I just wanted to be me and have that feeling of unconditional love. Now, the wonderful thing, the one thing that I must say I am so thankful for was despite my naiveness, despite my disrespect, despite my attempt to try to lie and hide in the situation because I didn't really open my mouth and say anything, confirm anything until I was like six months with my first son. Like you couldn't really tell. I was very athletic, so I was toned and I didn't have a belly. It, it just kind of blew up, right? I started gaining a little pudge and then after I was like, yes, in like two weeks, it was like, boom, belly. So <laughs> um, I, I was looking to just be accepted for who I was. And I found that allowing my children to be that allowed me to be the same. I never hid anything from them. I let them know how old I was, you know, when they were born. I mean, it's not something that they can't figure out on their own, but I didn't want to be ashamed of it because by me being ashamed of that situation, it would somehow reflect that they are shameful. And that's not it at all. Despite how old I was when I had my children, all of them brought me such fulfilling moments of authenticity and bliss and led me again to realize that unconditional love can exist. Now, I'm not saying that it was unconditional love all the time, <laughs> right? I'm not saying that we were just, we had no struggle. I had a struggle. I had a struggle. My mom did not put me out um, when I told her I was pregnant with my first son. She actually, you know, took it better than I thought she was going to um, and had, you know, the home prepped for when I came home from the hospital with him. And, you know, then my daughter came along and she was like, uh -uh, you get a little too comfortable. <laughs> but I had been in and out, in and out. And then after that, after my daughter, I just, I moved out on my own. and that also taught me that I didn't have to go with the flow. I didn't have to follow the, the stream. If those of you who have been watching me for a while, you know I was raised as a witness. So you know teenage pregnancy, very taboo. And our family, we are, you know, we had elders, we had um, ministerial servants, you know, they're high ranking, we had pioneers, things of that nature. And, you know, I was looked at to be, come on, let's get it. If I could just get my stuff together and then boom, teenage pregnancy. So yeah, 
you know, I got the ostrac I got pushed to the side and, you know, I was ostracized and it allowed me to realize that I can be strong on my own. That also gave me a life lesson. I can be strong on my own. I can take care of myself. I can do things to fulfill and sustain the life that I want for myself and my children. It allowed me to realize that a real deal can manifest certain things. A real deal, before I even knew what manifestation was or that I could actively do it, it allowed me to see, hey, look, look, and look at this. You manifested these beautiful babies of joy. My, my third son, my third child, which is my second son, he was born when I was 20, so not teenage. But it allowed me to see that I was able to manifest this love, like these beings came from me they're part of me so all the beautiful things that they do come from me all the not so beautiful things they do also come from me and you know their father but <laughs> it's all about me right now it allowed me to realize that i can love and accept myself by loving and accepting my children and the flaws that they make and realizing that we are not all perfect and knowing that we all have a voice i allowed my children to have a voice very young, like tell me, tell mommy what it is. I want that. Communicate with me. I'm gonna tell you I love you. I'm gonna give you hugs and kisses because I wanna give you, I want to give myself that fulfillment that I didn't always have. I wanna be the parent that I wanted for me. Yes, there's structure, but there's well-roundedness as well. There's balance in everything. Having my children early allowed me to see that there's a balance in everything. And having my children early in my teenage years, although it was difficult, yes. Although it was a struggle, yes. Although there were things that I did that I still look back on and was like, how the fuck did I survive that shit? Sorry for the language, but that's how I feel feel sometimes sometimes i when i have these memories that i've repressed and i'm like how did i Woo. <laughs> so life lessons can be found in any situation despite what your background is despite the things that you went through despite the things that you did and the people that you did them with and the things that you said regarding them despite all of that there's a lesson in it and see the beauty in it. See what it is that you are able to fulfill. See what it is that you are manifesting. See what lesson is to be taught there in the experience that you went through. One major thing, the, the big bullet point, and I'm going to end on this, that I learned from having my children as a teenager by really having that stamp of, black sheet on my forehead was that this life is mine to live and it's all based on the choices that I make. Our life is just a series of results of the choices that we make. And I'm not saying that it's always easy, but I'm not saying it has to be darn right difficult always because it doesn't. We all have a choice. We all have a choice. I had a choice on whether or not to have those children as, teenage, as a teenager. We always have a choice. But know that whatever choice you make, even if it's no choice, even if you allow someone else to quote unquote make the choice for you, just know that that choice is not set in stone because our life is a series of choices. So despite whatever choices you made in the past, you can turn it around like that. And that's the major life lesson that I learned. And I'm so thankful that my children, my three biological children and my two bonus children taught me and allowed me to realize because I'm humble enough to know that we can learn from everyone and anyone. Some of these children out here are more mature than their parents. So with that being said, wealthy family, I love you all. 
I hope you all go out and be great. It is Thursday. I love Thursdays. Favorite day. I happen to be born on a Thursday as well. <laughs> but I hope you all be alert, be aware, and live in love.